Ho, 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 friends, and welcome back to another episode of Obama in the Dark 2. I'm your host, Magic Man Mo. Last episode, we put a heart onto this square, a heart card. We had like four cards, but obviously this took the heart. So let's go down into the tunnel, and we need to work our way into the haunted mansion. Uh, there looks to be some sort of keyhole here in this suspicious, suspicious passage. It's locked. I don't think we can open it by force. Okay. What can we play? Does a diamond go here? Uh, uh, oh, maybe, maybe the wire. Maybe the poker? It does look like I need a key, doesn't it? Well, I can probably put the rope on the hook. I can. I can do the rope and the hook. I don't know what that's going to be used for right now. Oh, I can look through here. Ah, I can look through the window and the key's right here. I can't reach it. Well, maybe if we use the hook, uh, maybe if we use the, maybe if we use the wire, <laughs> I say like, there's something we can use. There's got to be something. We got the key. All right, the key was locked from the inside, but now we can unlock it from the outside. Okay, I'm glad I, oh, 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 hello. That ghost destroyed the red diamond. Well, that's not a huge problem. Can I just use the regular diamond, or does it have to be red? That's odd. I thought the door would open. Well, maybe we need to turn it red. So maybe if we take it back, if we take the diamond back to the bloodbath, which is disgusting, maybe we can dye it red. That's what we maybe can do. Can we put the diamond into here? We can. We can do that. It's not like the diamond has any magical properties. It just has to be any diamond of the color red. All right, here we go. Super eerie. It's super eerie in here. It's like drip, drip, drop, drop. Okay, so long as that doesn't kill us. No, but open the door. Excellent. We're almost through. Ooh. Are you going to play another trick on us, Mr. Red Ghosty Man? The ladder is gone. How am I supposed to climb all the way up? We're being actively pursued by Mr. Redman. I said, Redman. Why do you gotta play me? I said, Redman. Hmm, everything looks normal around here. Alright. Uh oh. What? what the heck was that? Okay. There was some sort of green goober monster down there. Alright, we've got the grinding bowl and the grinder back. We had that in the last time we did this. A few old papers, it says. A red ribbon. Like, from Red Ribbon Army. Uh, there seems to be something else here, too. There's no water. That's odd. Well, we can probably wrench this thing. Okay, now we have water. Is it, I don't really have anything to collect the water with. And it looks like I can't keep wrenching it. So I guess that's going to do it for now. Uh, I think we need to acquire a bowl that isn't the grinding bowl to collect the water in. And what's actually on this fireplace? There's some stuff. A part of a statuette. Not any old statue, but a statuette. And there seems to be some sort of notebook? A photo album. Ah, of course, the family album. Yes, indeed. It looks like they're outside again. Oh, we have to return this to the old gods. Like on that note, we probably need to find this hourglass and return it. So we need to get back outside somehow. Because we can't go back the way we came. Uh, that's terrifying. But this is the bedroom. Okay. This. Oh, we got the, the, the monks are worshipping maybe this sign down here on the floor. Looks like there's a button in the fireplace too. All right, we'll probably try to remember that stuff. What is this, somniferous? It's probably somniferous. No, it's a beer. Well, cheers to that. All right. Anything else in this room? I don't think so. This drawer is oddly colored, but I don't think it's doing anything. Let's just try the wrench real quick. Nothing? Okay. Sounds good to me. I don't have a crowbar or anything. I don't think it's... Oh. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? Are you a statue? Can I put the statuette piece? Are you a person or a statue? I am terrified to find out. Oh, what is this? A voodoo doll? I don't mind if I do. I'll take this bucket as well. 
I don't know what this darkness in the middle is, but it's got me a little nervous. Uh, bucket, a, a blue, green, and red gem. Okay, okay. I don't see anything else. If I stand on this, am I gonna die? Am I okay? Is this okay? Uh, do I have my shovel anymore? No, I don't have my shovel. I did lose my shovel. Can I, like, water this area with a beer? I don't know. But if I take the bucket, I can fill it up with water. Maybe I can water that spot. Maybe it's been planted with something. Let's go take the bucket to the faucet, shall we? All right, a bucket full of water. Excellent. I bet we got to water that spot. I bet we had to water that spot. That's what comes to my mind. Do we have to do that? No? Maybe we voodoo doll? Uh, that's super weird. That bothers me. All right, well, we'll come back if we think of anything. But right now, I'm trying... I remember, oh yeah, I remember you. That, you're that clown that was missing his, uh, his pom-pom. I guess that's what that's called. All right, let's do a candle. Yes. I've got a candle. Is there anything else in this room I should be concerned about? I don't, I don't think so. Unless that mirror is important, which it could be, but I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's go through here. Okay, let's go down before I go over to the left side. Oh my goodness! What are you? What are you? It's locked, as you might have guessed. It looks like I need to put some sort of sigils in its eyes, which I, I doubt are the gems, because they don't look like they match. Maybe the voodoo doll, no? Chains? I don't think so. I think I need to find these sigils somewhere, and I don't know where they're going to be, but I'm sure they're around somewhere. Ah, yes, this this is missing the little symbol. I remember that. There's also a light switch, which I'm going to click in a minute, but it looks like there's some stuff to pick up, and I'm going to... <laughs> the ghost from the statue won't let anyone get close to his treasures. Defeat him first. Okay, so there goes that plan. I was going to... Uh... Oh, I can get that. A, a part of a statuette. <gasps> can I put the statuette on this? <gasps> a statuette of the goddess of the moon. What do I... Oh, yeah. What do I do with that? I might be able to put the candles, by the way. Oh, can I not? I was hoping I could put the candles around the sides. Maybe I have to light the candles first. I don't have any matches. Last time we had matches. I, I, I bet we have to light it first. If I flip the switch, what happens? Oh, those light up. That's odd. Nothing happened. They only light up for a moment. Well, we can't go over there. All right, so I think we're going to have to come back. And I think we need to light that candle, which means we might need matches. I'm going to go up here, and hopefully we don't die. Are, are we still cool? I don't know what you are. You're terrifying. Do you want a gem? I don't know. Is that a piece of cheese? A golden fang. Okay. I thought it was a thought, and I was hoping it was cheese. All right. What's in this room? What are these? Sulfur bo Oh, Oh, God. That's, that actually kind of gave me a spook. A little spook. Just a little spook. The ghost from the painting won't let anyone step on his carpet. Oh, we just need to not step on his carpet. That's okay. That's okay, ghosty guy. We won't step on your carpet. What's this note? To whom it might interest, I heard the master say that a very valuable object will appear in this room if it ever gets illuminated. Unfortunately, he also mentioned an evil being that lived inside it. This evil ghost wouldn't allow anyone to step on his carpet. I'll find the ceremonial dagger and will destroy this evil ghost, he kept shouting. That's a very particular thing to keep shouting. So we need to find a ceremonial dagger, like the one that we had in the last episode, or in the last yeah, sure, last episode. Why not? And we need to stab this guy, because I think we need to pull this chain to illuminate it. And we can't do that without stepping on the... on that. Sulfur bars. What, can I use that to light the candle? What, what, what do we use sulfur bar? <gasps> we can put it in the, in the grinder. Can I put the fang in there as well? I cannot. I wonder if there's... What, what, what can I put? Oh, that's the note. Oh, wait, what'd that say? Oh, it's got the picture of this. 
When did I get this? I don't remember getting this. And then I saw something that left me totally amazed, if not terrified. The master was performing what I would call a ritual. He spread sulfur powder on the floor of the room where the cr that creepy painting of a clown was. And after that, he put a statue of a moon goddess. What happened next, I don't know, but I do remember the statue. <gasps> Can I actually crush up? Can I crush up the, 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 the sulfur bars into sulfur powder? Oh my goodness. Let's go over to here. We gotta get back to the room with the clown. I'm so glad I saw that. The butler's diary. I don't remember picking that up. I don't know how I could have forgotten. So we've got sulfur powder. We can throw that on the floor. And then put put this... Oh! We're gonna put this guy, or woman, rather, on the middle of it. Oh, that's why it was dark. Okay, so now we can go over here. A mysterious statue. Wait, what did you say? I don't think I can take with me a half-ton statue. Hey, hey, Obama, I don't know what your limits are. I don't know what you can and can't carry with you. Can we put a beer in it? No, it doesn't appear so. I do feel like we want to put something in her bowl, but I don't know what. Do you want the, do you want the golden fang? Let me fang you a question. I actually do not know what else to do with you, but I am certain I've got to put something in your bowl. It's gotta be. Maybe the voodoo doll. No. Water? Can I put the water in there? No. What did I use the water for? Have I used the water for anything yet? I don't remember using the water for anything if I have. Alright, so I think that only leaves going upstairs next. So in the next episode, we're going to go upstairs because I'm going to leave it right there for this one. If you enjoyed that episode, please do all the things. But what do you guys do? I want to thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode of Magic Man Mo. Bye! <laughs>